Almost all waiver cases for conditional green cards result in an interview at the local district CIS office. Even though waiver cases are filed at the service center, depending on where you live, the service center staff are usually ill-equipped to determine the credibility of the story when there is less evidence involved, which can happen quite frequently on waiver cases. Certain cases where there is overwhelming evidence, such as in some abuse cases where there is restraining orders and criminal records for the prosecution of the abuser and pictures of bruises or violence toward the immigrant, the chances that an interview would be scheduled uh, or the case would be forwarded by the service center to a district office are much less. Certain factors like how long you were living with your spouse prior to filing of the waiver, how much bona fide marriage documentation you have from the relationship, and details of your story and the type of evidence you have will depend on whether or not you are scheduled for a waiver interview. The difficulty with waiver interviews at the district office is that many of the district offices do not routinely train their staff on the various types of waivers and these waiver decisions are discretionary. If you have been scheduled for an interview, it is strongly advisable to have an experienced immigration attorney with you at the interview who is familiar with your case and the evidence and can point that out to the officer who may not be familiar with your case at all who is sitting in front of you for the interview. The officer also may not have had much time to even look at your case or not very, very familiar with the law on conditional green card waivers and the standard of proof that is required in your type of case. Further, it's your word against the officer if you're by yourself and your case gets denied. I am an expert in complex family-based immigration cases and have a 98% approval rate for the past 12 years. I am a nationally published immigration author and frequent public speaker on immigration topics. I regularly train other immigration lawyers on complicated marriage and family immigration cases for the American Immigration Lawyers Association, Federal Bar Association, and national legal education providers. I represent clients all over the U.S traveling to immigration interviews and deportation proceedings. Visit our website, humanrightsattorney.com, for more in-depth information and articles on complex family immigration issues.